Welcome back to Miss Burton's book club. I'm Miss Burton and today I am going to be reviewing a book I have just finished. The book is called The Girl with the Lost Smile and it's written by Miranda Hart who is an actress, comedian and writer. Uh, it's the first book I've ever read of hers and here is what I thought. Our main character Chloe, who's usually very cheery and smiley, she realises that she has indeed lost her smile. So she travels to Magicland with her new friends Godfrey and Hoppy and they go on an epic adventure. In this Magicland, on this adventure, they realise that Magicland has be, is being terrorised by shadow bandits and Chloe and her friends have to save the day. She also goes on a hunt to find her lost smile. If I was to describe this book in three words, it would be witty, imaginative and hopeful. I like the adventure you get to go on with Chloe. You feel very connected to her and relate to her emotions along the way. I like the character Godfrey, the friendly giant, because he's got this ability to shapeshift. He can go to, into any shape or size. Sometimes he's an eagle and that flies with his beautiful wings and then sometimes he's a blue whale and he swims in the ocean. Although this book is very imaginative and you do go on an epic adventure, I do like the way it relates to real life issues such as feeling lonely and how to deal with feelings and why you shouldn't bottle them up. The book had very long chapters and it was a struggle to get through them sometimes without feeling too sleepy. But once the story got to its climax, which was about chapter 17, things really did start to heat up and get really exciting. So I really enjoyed it from them. At 359 pages, it is a rather long book. So I would recommend um, taking your time with this one uh, because the end result is all worth it. 100% I would want to meet Godfrey. Who would not want to meet a friendly giant who can shapeshift? But also I'd want to meet Chloe, our main character, because she's funny, she's got an infectious smile most of the time. And uh, she has this amazing imagination that I am so super jealous of. If I was reading this as a child, it would sort of help me to um, learn that grown-ups have their own feelings and own things to deal with as well, um, as well as just looking after children. Um, and sometimes they don't share them. Uh, I also learn it's okay to ask for help, no matter what the problem is. Even if you can't express why you're sad uh, or feeling the way you are, there's no shame in asking for help. So I would rate this book a three and a half out of five stars because some parts of it did make me quite sleepy. It's a very long story to get through. The chapters are very long, but in the end, it's really worth reading because the Chloe's imagination is just wonderful. There's some beautiful illustrations within the book and it's quite funny. Um, it's really, uh, well, it's written by Miranda Hart, so you know it's going to have some jokes in there and it does. Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they can't remember the words. Why did the banana go to hospital? Because he wasn't peeling well. How did the farmer fix his jeans? With a cabbage patch. What's brown, long and sticky? A stick! 